It is the best show in town. It is the best LGBTQIA show. So darling, why haven't you subscribed? Monday to Thursday, bringing you breaking news wahala. And Friday, sex, education. And Saturday, burning questions. You know, all those questions you've been thinking of asking. Saturday is the day for you, darling. Ask your questions. Your questions about religion. Your questions about what you want to know about us. Your questions about anything. You can access anything on Saturdays doing burning questions. And you know one thing. You could to be the lucky winner to win our giveaways on Saturdays. And on Sundays to crown it all, we have the market winning and shade club. So darling, why do you want to miss out on all these interesting things? Help this channel by clicking the subscribe button. Welcome to a brand new episode of Q Will Talk. And as you guys know, we bring you the hottest news, the spiciest news, the craziest news that you can find in the entire planet. And today on the news, a popular gym house has politely but strongly told gym members, men, to please stop having sex on the floors, on the actually showing bodies for ironing, the floors are for stepping on, the locker rooms are for changing. So we're just going to be dissecting and talking about what is happening now in the west side of Nollywood. That men, you see that they no longer have access to their houses again. You see that they have become homeless. You see that they, they don't have money to pay for hotel. What's really happening at Coach, um, at Coach um, Fitness Home, their Coach Fitness Gym? What's happening there? But as usual, we cannot start the story without introducing ourselves. I am Marvelous Achafu Kelechi, and I'm always joined by Chimi Rizzi, Henry Awunaya, you know, doing those things in Canada. Chimi Rizzi, how are you doing? Oh, good morning, Mr. Achafu. I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I am fine, thank you very much. So let me read out what Coach sent to post it on their board. Attention members, please do not have sex in the men's locker room. You can have sex literally anywhere else, not just at Coach Fitness. Otherwise, your membership will immediately will be immediately revoked. Please keep this uh, uh, safe space for all coaches or keep this um, same safe space for all. I think it should have been keep this space safe for all coaches, but it was keep this space safe for all coaches. And they basically issued it out. At first, it took him where the Reddit the users they found out the this thing was the thing was a lot of comical issues. People were just laughing about it. They were talking, it was buzzing. But three but different questions were being asked. Some were like, ah, what is happening of all places in the gym room? Is it that Jimmy, what are your thoughts on this? Let me not talk too much, but let me save my opinion. America is a wild place, and wild sex is what keeps America. America is filled with porn, only fans creators, and sometimes they want to add a little bit of production value to their content. So they look for those places to add a little bit spice. Um, secondly, I feel if the business owners are not having it, um, we should begin to respect the spaces. Um, there are different set of people who use the gym and sometimes people use the gym and they don't expect to see that kind of atmosphere. I feel in America there are still bad houses and there are still sex houses that people could go to to have sex if that's their fantasy. Um, secondly, it goes back to this community. Let us try to put some integrity in our community. Let us try to put some prestige in our community. The gym is made for working out. If you like somebody, approach them, take their number, take them on a date, have a time to get to know them. Sex should not be in your mind at, at the first place. That's it for me, Mr. Chaffo. When you are gymming, you are meant to see things that are not meant to see, be intrigued, be carried away, your sexual metamorphosis and sexual libido will be getting charged because you know in gym we see them in the most sexiest of position with the shirt open, the everything. So they are bound to be a lot of emotions flying. After the gym, you go say after the reggae, why don't we go to the blues and play the blues? So after you play the reggae, you go and play the blues. 
So it's a normal thing to want to have it after you know after the day's workout. So when you work out physically, you need to also work out sexually. For some people, you need to come hand in hand. And like they said, too, they say sex is good for the body, good for the soul too. But what I, I what I feel from this, I feel like this is just a marketing strategy from um coaches fitness. I feel like this is a marketing strategy. For me, that was the first thing that came to my mind when I saw it. I said, mm, this is just one big marketing strategy that might actually just work for them. And it's obvious, I would, I tend to believe, not like I still do not believe, I believe that the banner, the everything, the posters that were going around was a huge marketing strategy. But I also believe that men are having sex in the local room and it's not going to be a new thing, it's not going to be a normal thing. We even share the story of Nigeria here where they went to a public toilet and actually paid to have sex in a public toilet. How shameful can that be? So I'll not be surprised about local rooms, especially in a country where it's legalized. But I feel like community members, we need to start doing more because there are some, even porn, I come across on Pornhub and other porn organizations. And I kind of sometimes even feel offended in the locations of where those porns were recorded. Some recorded in airports and, and toilets, some recorded in subway stations. So there was one that was recorded so close to a train, like a train stop like the train literally stopped before the video stopped recording so it was giving someone a blue job and the train was passing no trains first pass by before enough finally so and it was when they stopped the person had stopped and that was the end of the video i felt really offended some in car parks some in national parks i saw one near a fountain i saw one near a gigantic christmas like um it's like almost as if one of the highest playlists on most porn hubs now or most porn sections now at the public porn section. And so I would not be surprised at it. I just feel like this is rather shameful. There are million and one ways you can do it and actually do it and enjoy it. It's not until you have it in the local room. Please, that is just cheap and that is tacky. For any core community member, that is like the tackiest of things ever. If I'm trying to even discipline myself that I feel like from 2022 and beyond, I wouldn't even have sex with even a sex party or a bar club or anywhere anymore. I would rather be, do it at the comfort of my bed if it must be. There's nothing wrong in you holding your congee please community members have some shame please kindly have some shame it's 2022 have some shame have money you can have money to pay for an hotel please even if you don't have money at least you can maybe do it under the bridge or inside the crocodile swamp and get it in by crocodiles but please don't don't do it in the local room that's very shameful for you that have money you people that have money that will pay for subscription for gym you should have money for an hotel now that should not be. They, they should also the have a car too. So <laughs> exactly. So they are not the poorest of the poorest. What are we talking about? You have enough money for you to. It's just very shameful thing. So I think that's our offer. We've basically said it all for Q talk for this episode of um men having it in the locker room. So next episode, see you guys later. Please don't forget to subscribe. Peace out.